Fluent Booking has just been released a few days ago and it's a brand new plugin by the team WP Manage Ninja, uh, which is behind Fluent CRM, Fluent Support, Fluent SMTP and many other plugins. This plugin is an alternative to Calendly, but 100% native to WordPress, of course. It is a very ambitious project that aims to replace not just Calendly, but also to book like events, for instance, and also next year, probably, hotels because i know they want to work on hotels early next year so indeed a very ambitious project and in this video i want to go uh, with you through the plugin just to show you the ins and outs how it works and just so you get a basic idea a basic understanding of uh, the plugin and what you can do with it uh, you're gonna see that it's a very user friendly plugin compared to some of its competitors so i really like uh, fluent booking but you just need to go uh, with me in this video this workthrough and you will see by yourself just so you know very important you have a lifetime deal uh, going on right now so you just have a few days left i guess so just go on this landing page i put the link into the description of the video and you can grab a copy or many copies of fluent booking because it's a lifetime deal the pricing is very appealing of course so uh, for me i grabbed this license $500 for 50 sites and it's really really cheap uh, in my opinion because it means that you just pay a few dollars for one license for one website lifetime with support so I think it's a bargain and I wouldn't hesitate so much if I were you. I mean this is a plugin for appointments, for booking, for events, for hotels maybe soon so I mean this is a really really interesting plugin and the team is very very solid. And here you have a public roadmap just if, in case you want to be to stick around and just know what's going on and what are they working on. Uh, you can of course uh, give your opinion here and vote for the features you want first and uh, you have all the planned features here and the features under consideration. So to start off with you just need first to install and activate the plugin and the license pro license then we head into the dashboard the getting started the onboarding wizard here uh, first you need to create your very first event so an event can be for instance coaching because it's mainly for appointments right now i would say so just think of an appointment like coaching this is the most basic example so let's go and create a coaching event so this is a coaching so i just write coaching we can write maybe wordpress to be more specific, this is WordPress coaching. This is something I can do. And uh, you have two event types, which is one-to-one -one or one-to-many. So one-to-many would be for groups, but just keep in mind that it's just not for one event. It can be for multiple slots throughout many days and weeks. And each of these slots would have maybe five or 10 or 15 spots available, for instance. This, this would be the one-to-many features in this scenario. It's not just one event, it's like a regular calendar where you can book appointments, but not just one-to-one, -one, but for groups, like five person at a time, for instance. So this is one-to-one, -one, and then you have the meeting duration. Let's go for 45 minutes. You have some color you can pick from, and then a description. Okay, and finally you have the location. This is a very interesting part because it seems to me that it's more um, user-friendly again than a plugin, a competitors like Amelia, for instance. Amelia is more geared toward uh, someone who has an understanding of the back office and the WordPress ecosystem and how everything is working. But when you install film booking for the first time, you just want to understand what the users needs. Uh, in terms of no-code expression. I mean, here, when you have location, you just need to select like, uh, do you want to meet people on Google Meet? Do you want to meet in person? If it's in person, what address is it? Is it the attendee address or the organizer, your address? If it's phone number, is it your phone number or the attendee phone number? If it's an online meeting and it's not Google Meet because this is a na native integration of Google Meet, you can plug Google Meet uh, into the settings of free on booking. And if you select online meeting, you can 
put any uh, meeting link you want. So you have Zoom and you have also a native integration for Zoom. So just stick around, you will see into the settings of each event, you can plug Zoom and you can put any other links you want. And I don't think you want to display the link on the booking page unless it's a totally free event maybe, but otherwise it doesn't make any sense to me. So you can of course select the time zone. So for me, I'm in France, so I stick with Paris and I click on continue. Then because it's the first time you need to uh, set things up. So the availability, of course, it's a heart of uh, booking plugins. So you just need to tell the plugin where you're available. I mean, when you're available from Monday to Friday, I think maybe on your time, time zone, you start the week with Sunday. For me, uh, we don't start with Sunday, but it doesn't really matter. You can change this later and uh, you just uh, click on plus. If you want to have a break uh, at noon, for instance, you can go from, from nine to let's say uh, 12 and then you start again from 1 p.m. here to, for instance, uh, 5 p.m. or 6 p.m., just like this, okay? And then you click on continue and boom, you're done. You have an event, you have your service uh, up and running. Of course, you have many more settings, but most of them are opinionated, meaning that you don't really, most of the time, you don't really need to play around with the different settings. You can, and we will go through each of them together in this video, but just need to know that you can go very, very fast with uh, Fluent Booking. If I go back to all the bookings, you have the host, me. You can have many hosts, of course. So if you work uh, with a team, uh, you can invite all your teams to have calendars, booking events and everything. But otherwise, it's just you. Then you have a grid with all your services, coaching, appointments of any kind listed here. Basically, you can share this. Of course, you can implement uh, this calendar, this service within any page in WordPress. Uh, you have a short code. Uh, if I click on share, uh, I can get the short code and you can put it in Elementor, or DV or anywhere else. You have a block, of course, you have a native block, but you, you have also a landing page, which is very similar to uh, Calendly. So the landing page is a very, very interesting feature, very user friendly, to my opinion. You have two landing pages. Uh, in reality, I'm going to show you each of them. You first need to go into host settings. You have the settings for just uh, every every event, every appointment you have here. And you have this checkbox, enable landing page features. You can enable this landing page features for all your booking forms or only a select few. So I click on save, then I go back and now I have the link. So I have a link here. I'm going to show you that in a minute, but first share landing page. I want to show you this landing page because this is the most interesting one. This is typically the landing page you get from Calendly, for instance, you get the same, exactly the same from WordPress, but you still have the benefits of using a WordPress plugin, meaning, meaning native integrations, more settings or different kinds of settings. So it's a very interesting. And at the same time, you can go very, very fast and sell any kind of booking you want through these very straightforward links. I think it's a very, very interesting feature that I would use even myself. Uh, so this is the first link you get. And you have also kind of a link tree, uh, but a link tree with your services, with your coaching. So if I click here, I have the link tree for myself and I would get all my services stacked each other's. And so right now I have one and you can have as many as you want. And we ca you can also share this link. Just keep in mind that if the link is not pre pretty enough for you, you can just use a plugin like Pretty Links to create short links uh, to hide this URL, which is quite long, of course. Okay, now let's go into the settings of each event. Uh, so and when I say event, I mean most of the time I mean appointments right now. So if I click on edit, you can find again all the settings we went through together. And now I can go into schedule settings. So here you have some important settings. How many days into the future I can schedule a meeting? So by default, it's 60 days. So this is when I told you uh, it's opinionated. It means that most of the settings are good enough, I think, for most of use, most of the use cases. Within 60 days, you have also within a date range and you have indefinitely into the future. So we can book a meeting in a year, for instance. Then below you have the global settings for your schedule and you also can set custom hours just for this appointment, just for this calendar, if you want. 
Um, this is um, the availabilities uh, hours and you can also put some date overrides here if you have some vacations for instance then we have the email notification you have all this email notification uh, already working for you and you can click on edit if you want to change anything and you can toggle on and off any email notification you want you have the booking questions exactly like Calendly so you can add more questions and modify, uh, change any question you want, even the ones by default. So you just click on edit and you can click here, add more questions and you have all the field types you want, drop downs, text area, not any field because you don't have check boxes right now, I see, but you have email, text, text area, number, phone, and drop down. Then we do have payment integrations uh, with Stripe right now. PayPal is coming, I think, according to the roadmap, but right now we have Stripe. So you just need to set Stripe into the global settings uh, tab at the end. We will go uh, through this tab together and you can send any data you want anywhere you want with webhooks so you just need to set webhooks here and uh, last but not least you have integration so right now you have integrations with fluent crm of course and you will have more in integrations coming which is a lot easier to cope with uh, compared to webhooks if you are a no coder so if i want to put my calendar slash appointment slash uh, coaching somewhere into anywhere I want uh, into WordPress. For me, I would just use Gutenberg for my demonstration uh, and you can use Sharkode as you remember. So you just need to make a research fluent booking here up and you select among the different like, calendars you, you have. I have only one of course, and I select it. I have a preview here and then I click on update and let's go for a quick demo together. So I select some day, some hour, click on next and I just leave it by default. I click on schedule meeting and boom, we're done. So this is uh, the thank you page. So you have a very clear structure in the thank you page, what, when, who, where, and you can also reschedule or cancel a meeting. And these options are available through emails, of course, through email notifications for your clients. Then the booking will land here into the bookings tab. You can just click on the booking. You will have all the details and you can find all the different appointments you have on the left here and you can hide or show this part anytime you want. And of course, if you want to cancel a meeting, you can just click on the three dots here and click on cancel. To go back to calendars, if I click on new event type, you have group and not just one to one. And for group, you have the number of spots you want. So it is basically the same um, flow. You have the same settings, same options. Uh, just you have just the spots like how many people do you want? in each each of these slots so 5 10 15 people the availability tab just lets you allow you to come back and forth with your availability so if you have vacations or off days you can just come here click here and you have the add date override so just click here and add your vacations and if you want to change also the your availability by default you can modify everything here then the settings tab so the settings tab you will have all the settings you want uh, from here for the email sender so just don't forget to uh, put an SMTP plugin like for instance Fluent SMTP obviously which is a free plugin you have to install it to be sure that emails are delivered correctly and uh, you can find all the settings here so you just need to put your from email address and it's very very easy uh, nothing nothing crazy and the time format here is very important for instance if you are in Europe like me you would want to select 24 hours here and calendar start Monday. This is this would be for France, for instance. Then you have the team uh, option and you can add any number of team members you want. So you just need to create first an account within this WordPress installation. And then well, when they have an account, they can be added here and you can just select member and select any member you want on this WordPress website and make it a team member for you within Fluent Booking. So if it's a coach, you were, you're working with, you can add him just through here. So once you add a team member, you can go back to calendars and you can click on add new host here. And this new team member will have 
his own services, coaching, and so on. He will also have his own availability uh, and you can click at any time on add new and add more availabilities and it can be used for uh, your team members, for you, for anything. So you have the integration with Google Calendar here as well as Zoom here and Twilio which is for SMS marketing and you have the Stripe integration here so you can ask for payments through these booking forms. You just need to connect your Stripe account here. It's very easy, nothing crazy uh, here as well and you have the last but not least your license management where you need to activate your plugin so what do you think right now of fluent booking to me this is the best uh, booking plugin uh, available or coming because of course there are many 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 features that we want from this plugin uh, that are not here now because it's the very beginning but i think it's a very promising plugin i really like the UI UX part of this plugin and I look forward to have more features uh, geared toward hotels and as well as more features for events uh, obviously so I'm very very hyped by this plugin and I hope you are too and don't forget to use the link in the description if you want to grab your lifetime deal again it's not an affiliate link just just a deal I don't want you to miss so just click on the link or go to um, fluentbooking.com and don't miss this opportunity. Thank you very much for listening to the video. If you have any question, use the comment section below and I will see you in the next WordPress tutorial. See you.